This is the way. Dang, Farrick, everyone! We have so much to talk about because we just got out of the Mandalorian Plus panel here at Star Wars Celebration where we got our first look at live action Sabine Wren Plus footage from Ahsoka on Disney Plus and even more from Mandalorian Season 3. Let's break it down. Rebels, this one's for you because it looks like we're going to see some very familiar faces once again. We focus on the final shot from Rebels, the finale, in which we are looking at the mural of Ezra, Hera, and Sabine, except a live action head is looking at it. That is Sabine. We can only surmise that she and Ahsoka are teaming up to bring Ezra home. And as you probably know, wherever we find Ezra, we're probably gonna find Thrawn. There was no dialogue in this teaser footage. It was all visuals, beautiful visuals, but we can only use that to guess what is going to happen next. So what do you think is going to happen next? And what do you want to happen next? And are you going to rewatch Rebels? Uh, because I am. Favreau and Filoni, of course, showed us some exclusive Mandalorian Season 3 footage that we broke down already. You can check out that video. We're going to link it at the end of this one. But today, there was new exclusive footage, the full teaser. Let's get into it. Perhaps the most important shot of this is the final shot of the teaser, and that is of the Mandalorian capital of Sundari. You may know this as a domed city. Well, it's absolutely destroyed. Dome's gone buildings fall into pieces. We do remember this from a flashback in the Book of Boba Fett. That is where Din Djarin is heading. Matter of fact, that's where all the Mandalorians are headed because it sure looks like this season is going to be focused on the retaking of Mandalore. It sure looks like Grogu is getting a tiny, adorable Mandalorian helmet to go with his chainmail armor, of course. It is baby blue. It's so cute. I can't wait to see him wear it. We also have what looked like one second of actor Tim Meadows. I don't know who he's playing. It was very short, but that was in the exclusive teaser shown here at Celebration. And lastly, the best part of the Rise of Skywalker, Babu Frick, our oldest friend, is back and he's brought some friends because there's more than one Babu Frick creature. I don't know the name of his species yet. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe it'll be another Grogu situation. <laughs> we got Kawakian monkey lizards. We got Captain Carson Tiva making an appearance. The return of Mando's long lost buddies, the Children of the Watch, they make an appearance here. Dr. Pershing, the Imperial cloning expert, it seems like he's not quite done with Grogu, hate to say it. Bad motivator or not, we do have footage of R5-D4 riding in the astromech compartment of Din Djarin's dadmobile. The armorer is back, she's in this teaser, mixing it up, swinging that hammer around, uh, not in a constructive way. Another thing of high interest, we see an Imperial Star Destroyer being broken down in a shipyard, much like at the top of Jedi Fallen Order. This is really interesting because it signifies the transition between the Imperial era and into the era of the New Republic. Just to break down all the enormous amount of stuff we have going on here, we have our first looks at live action Sabine Wren. We have our first looks at Ahsoka on Disney Plus, and yes, Rebels is spray painted all over that. And finally, we have the battle for Mandalore coming to Mandalorian season three. What are you most excited about? It's a really hard choice, but be sure to keep it locked here. We have our breakdown of our first batch of exclusive con footage for Mandalorian season three. Check out that link and be sure to follow IGN for more Star Wars celebration coverage, more Star Wars coverage. Be sure to follow us wherever you like to watch. This is the way.